Salutări, prieteni, și bine v-am găsit la o nouă ediție de Sportcast cu Sile, un podcast ori în sport, sponsorizat de cei de la Betano. Vă mulțumim că sunteți alături de noi, vă mulțumim că uh, sunteți uh, oameni fideli canalului de YouTube al nostru și, evident, al podcastului nostru. Uh, dacă vă, vă va plăcea ediția de astăzi, pentru că am un invitat uh, special pe care chiar vreau să-l descos, de chiar sunt curios uh, despre viața lui, despre uh, ce înseamnă fotbalul din țara de unde provine și uh, cum a reușit să o transforme pe Dinamo într-o echipă la care chiar îți face plăcere să, să, să te uiți. E bine, dacă vă place episodul de astăzi, nu uitați să dați un share. Uh, salut, Jeico Copici! Salut! I, I asked you how, your, uh, how you yeah. pronounce it, your, uh, it your name. Good. It was good. It was good? Okay, thank you very much for accepting uh, our invitation. I must tell the, our friends that our dialogue will be in English, of course. Yeah. Have you learned some Romanian uh, words? Yes, I'm trying and I understand a lot of things, especially in uh, like football words, but still, you know, I, I, I don't feel comfortable to, to speak just these basic things, you know. You know, it's, it's very first. interesting because people from former Yugoslavia who came to Romania okay. uh, have learned much faster to speak Romanian than let's say Italians or uh, or Spanish uh, or Portuguese Be okay we are Latin languages yes. but you speak better I don't know how this yeah. is very interesting but yeah I also I can I can feel the language you know and maybe I don't know how it's for Italian for Spanish people and what I heard that is many similarities between the Romanian and Italian and Spanish but Uh, like the feeling on the language, uh, yeah, I, I also the, can can feel a lot of uh, words and it's good. Yeah. Zeko, wh what did you know about Romania really before you came here? And uh, was it a surprise? So is it a surprise? But for we, you we forgot something because I, we spoke about everything before I came, but you didn't. Uh, Tell me which club you support, because <laughs> <laughs> we cannot speak, you know, because I have one uh, one, oh. present, one present for you, you know, this is... Yeah, and, fantastic. Yeah, and this it's is... It's yeah. Silvio. <laughs> oh, it's great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Great. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, you're I'll welcome. cherish you're it. Welcome. No matter no matter what <laughs> club I support, or I used to support... But you still this, didn't answer. This will be... I, I've always loved FC Bayern München. Oh, okay. But I, Romanian? <laughs> <laughs> this is, no. this, this is, you know... Okay. This is always our secret, but you know why? Imagine going on stadiums, yeah? And I tell you now what, what okay. team I support. Do you imagine okay. me going to the enemies? Yeah, but, but uh, Romanian media, they found uh, everything, you know, if they found out. And I, I am sure that they will find out also about you, who, which team you, will, you support in Romania. <laughs> we, we will see next days. <laughs> uh, uh, what, ca what I can really tell you, and this is no matter what team I support or I support it, I love the football Dinamo plays. Right now, it's, I think, the most entertaining football team in, in Romania, which is, I think, great because people want it expected, no matter, you know, from what part. I, I'm sure that uh, people who support FCSB, people who support Rapid, they want it a strong and good Dinamo because it's part of the tradition and we needed this. So congratulations for, for mm -hmm. Uh, you know, solving this until now, you know, this spectacular football, football yeah. and I, I imagine that you are proud of, of how you play. Yeah, I also think that uh, Dinamo must be there, must, must, uh, the people must uh, see the, the, the quality on the pitch, people must see, it doesn't matter, of course, uh, our supporters, uh, it's, it's most important, but everybody who, who watch uh, the, the game to see that this is the, the, the team with the guard, uh, with ambition to play quality, with uh, taking the risk into the game, you know, because last season was uh, different. We were in situation to fight, to, to, to survive somehow, just to, to, to manage to stay in the league. But now it was opportunity from the start of pre-season to change a little bit of things, uh, to implement some new, some new players, some new style of play, my vision. And at the moment I'm proud, but still it's a long way to have this stability of performance. You know, we are still, we show in some moments that we can really play good football, but this is normal part of, uh, of the process. I, I understand that uh, for this, to bring Dynamo on the level to be really strength of Romanian football, this will take a little bit more of time. But we are, uh, I think that we are on the good way. Okay, you still didn't answer the first question. Then yeah. we'll, we'll come to your game and how you implement it and the problems because everyone says that it's much more difficult to survive 
uh, relegation than to fight for for big objectives. It's it's the pr the prospect of of getting relegated is very really scary for everyone. Yeah. But tell me how you got what you knew about Romania uh, Romanian football, and when you got this proposition, had you what did what was your what were your thoughts then? I didn't uh, know too much, mm -hmm. uh, but of course now in the, you have internet, you have uh, all, all information, but uh, one part is to read something and second part is to come and, and to feel and that, uh, really at the moment what I can say about, for me place like place is important, but for me always is the most important the, the people and mm -hmm. how I see the people that they are very they are very friendly very very polite uh, with a uh, lot of positivity and this is something what i cannot say that i'm surprised but this is something what uh, what really makes me satisfied to live uh, in this kind of environment environment uh, also about the, the country i i really like that the, the bucharest but also many many other nice cities, nice places, and uh, my recommendation, and when I speak with uh, my, my friends and people and media in, in Croatia, I have only, only the, the, the best words about Romania. About uh, this, how I came here, uh, it, was, it was December. Uh, before that, I had some uh, personal things to do, and uh, also with my son, he had one surgery, and for some time I uh, didn't take the club. And just in that period, uh, I had some connections. I had two, three really uh, like offers, but I didn't feel that this is something uh, what I need. When you was part of uh, Dinamo Zagreb, when you was part of Hajduk Split, uh, even Paphos in Cyprus, uh, uh, for example, also Bote Plodi in Bulgaria, it's the club with uh, such a great history, also with a lot of supporters, a lot of energy. I was looking for something that I again feel this this energy and this this is something what motivated me and what uh, took the, the the best from you know and when this option came on the table uh, when i saw the table and uh, oh, it was very bad yeah it was very bad and number of goals i think the one of the worst moments in the history of dynamo and uh, i i also uh, saw the, the 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 some games and I saw that uh, that ex-coach of video that uh, he managed to do good things and that team had a shape. They were not un unbalanced, but all the time was missing missing something. It was in some games a little bit of uh, offensive quality. In some games it was a little bit unlucky, you know, and because of different reasons you, you, you are there. And uh, weren't you afraid seeing the table, seeing the, the amount of goals, uh, knowing that Dinamo was relegated a few years ago, yeah. uh, hearing, I imagine, about the financial situation? Weren't you afraid that you were coming, I don't know, in a club which wasn't stable and that you might risk also your career? I was discussing with a uh, few agents who understand really well Romanian uh, market. Also, you know, you always have some friends, so you want to share something, some idea. And uh, everybody told me, oh, that you are crazy, you know. But this is not the first time that I'm doing uh, crazy things, you know. And when I so okay, nobody was believing. They said, okay, you will go there uh, two, three months. Uh, you know how it's in Romania. They change the coaches uh, very fast. The club have financial problems. Ta -ta -ta. But after the after the communication with club officials, I understood situation a uh, little bit more. And uh, for me, it was big challenge. And I just decide, okay, I go and I fight until the end, you know, and it was in some moments it's normally that all these things goes through the head because I put on the table all my career because how, really? I, how I'll explain if I relegated uh, with such a big club with uh, history, nobody will ask me what was the table in December or did you have injured players or did, nobody cares about that. 
But it was uh, my decision to just go fight and it will be what it will be. And I was believing all the time. If I stop to believe, I think that you cannot give the energy for the team. How the team can believe if you don't believe. And it was really some, some tough moments during, the, during that period. But, uh, you know, some, somebody will say that I may be overconfident or that I have big opinion about myself. But I was sure that I will find a way. You know, it's, it's interesting that many players, especially players who come here, and I'm very curious how you see things, players who used to play for bigger clubs in better leagues and so on, sometimes can come a little overconfident in Romania. Yes. And they say, okay, it's an easy league because you hear things and you see that the European uh, pedigree isn't as, as big in, in the last years. Um, and they tend to under-evaluate this, this league. Did you have the same thing? Did you think it was an easier football than it is? Or how do you, and how do you see it now, the football in, in Romania? No, no, I, uh, first of all, I know quality of uh, Romanian players through the, through the history. Uh, it's, it's a lot of quality, a lot of uh, amazing players, and you cannot underestimate this, this uh, country, this league, these players. And uh, when I watched some games, you know, I, um, I, this, you have these platforms, why scout and this yes, other yes, doesn't yes. matter. Uh, you see that this uh, league is very competitive and we can speak about the level of quality. But for example, in some leagues, it's maybe it's uh, easier to play more technical football. But this league here, uh, it's, uh, it's a lot of about uh, competitive part of personality, a lot of about uh, duels, a lot of about energy, especially with, when you are player of Dynamo, because in every stadium where you go, you have a full stadium, everybody wants to, to beat you, everybody is extra motivated. And uh, I, had, I had clear picture from the first day, but we were not in the shape to have answer for that profile, for that style of football in the in every game and this is something what I was uh, insisting during the, the, the trainings, matches to, to, to try to, uh, to build this kind and with, because uh, with this way of playing you build your guard, you, you, you make uh, opponent to feel different and uh, in some games it was, it was good, in some games not and some players who came uh, what you said, some of them uh, adapted easier, some of them need more time, and some of them uh, never adapt, you know. Yeah, this is, uh, this is a problem. For me, <coughs> sorry, for yes, me, for me uh, when we speak about the league, uh, only, let's say, the problem for the league to have uh, a better ranking in, in UEFA, it's, it's uh, to have a better results in European competition. If you, for example, have the, the club in uh, Champions League or some team who play uh, important part in, in uh, group stage of UEFA or uh, Conference League with these points immediately the status of the league will be higher and because of that maybe uh, in other countries they don't uh, have the, the best opinion about about the league but the, the, the true is, 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 is different this league have a, have a quality. So you came, you discovered Dinamo. Would you compare it to a, a club in Croatia? That, uh, does Dinamo and the way the fans are uh, resemble to anything uh, Croatian? For me, this is, uh, I will say, for now, how I see the, 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 the energy in the club, uh, the supporters, I will compare with, with Hajduk. This with is Hajduk? With Hajduk. Uh, this is a high level of energy, of support, of because, for example, uh, uh, Dynamo and Bad Blue Boys, they are uh, top club, they play Champions yes. League, uh, the supporters also goes everywhere. But I feel a little bit different energy 
in in Dinamo Bukurest and Hajduk. This is for me like uh, more similar, and uh, I completely know the way how how they want us to play, uh, which energy they want to see, and. Uh, uh, that it's not always that they will uh, make problem if we don't win some game, but you have to give everything on the pitch. If you don't give everything, and if if they do, if they are not, if if we are not connected with them to 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 make this energy together, then the, it's not team that they will uh, connect with. And I think that at the moment we have all this. Uh, good positive things in the club around the club with supporters because we somehow found the way to present on the pitch what the fans want to see from Dinamo. Was this aggressivity something that you loved as also as a player? You, you, you had a career, you were in, in Hajduk and in Dinamo Zagreb as a, as a junior player, yeah? And then you told me you no, had I was only Dinamo. Only Osijek. Dinamo Zagreb? I was born in Osijek. Osijek. Ah, and in Osijek. Uh, Osijek. Sorry, and, yes. And after in, that sorry. In uh, yeah, in Osijek and then in, in Dinamo yeah. Zagreb. So I imagine if you get to Dinamo Zagreb, uh, you were a talented uh, junior, yeah? you were telling what happened and was this part of your game as well, this aggressivity, did you, were you an aggressive player, what, post, uh, what, what did you play? Yeah. What, uh, okay, what were you? I, I was a talented player, I, I used to play for uh, under 17, uh, under 19, even from uh, Croatian national team and uh, I was captain and uh, everything was okay and it, from some different reasons, little bit of injuries, maybe a little bit of maybe that I didn't as a player make everything in the proper way. I just didn't find a way to perform on the professional level um, in the way how I uh, used to do in, uh, in the youth. And this mm -hmm. is for me, it was, this is why in this so much in the, with young players in the hard work in, in understanding the things, how every training is important, uh, if we do technical part, tactical part, if we are doing the gym to go to the limits, to go over the limits, because some moments in the life, if they pass, you cannot go back. You need in this moment when you have opportunity yes. to give uh, to give everything. And, uh, what was your position? I used to play number eight, number ten, and I I cannot say that I was too aggressive. You're player. not aggressive <laughs> because this is another thing. You know, I don't know, I don't know if if this is the same no. in Croatia, but in Romania, some of the most um, it's always uh, opposite. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> the <laughs> players who were very very skillful and uh, they mm. were playing number. Number 10, number 9, yeah. usually their teams, okay, except Haji maybe, yeah? mm -hmm. Haji likes uh, his, uh, his team to be spectacular, but many of our former uh, attackers, their teams yeah. don't have a, a wonderful football, yeah. and the guys who are defenders, you know, their teams are beautiful, and their teams are spectacular, and very, uh, uh, and, uh, and not so aggressive. So. <laughs> yeah, for me, it's two important things. First one, uh, I know me uh, as a player, when I had some aggressive player all the time close to me, it was, come on, leave me to, to, to play football, <laughs> you know, Let, give me some space because to, to show some You were running away from, uh, from the aggressive me, guys. Okay, I didn't have problem, but of course it's easier to play if he is five meters from you or he is here all the time, you know. Yes. But other thing, it's, you know, this was, 25 years ago, I think that football changed a lot, and, uh, and now uh, you need to be like sports car. You know, it's uh, it's about the, 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 the everything must be in the in the proper shape. Everything must be if you want to play uh, top football. If if you tactically are not good, if you have problems in transition, you cannot expect uh, that you will uh, win games. If you are not uh, tactically good in set pieces, it's uh, obvious that you will have a problem. If you cannot play with high intensity, uh, if you don't have fast player, it's very, very tough to to bring the ball uh, behind the uh, opponent's defensive line and to, to make something there. If you don't have technically skillful players, you cannot expect that you will play uh, control football. Then you have to defend and to wait for some transitions, you know, and uh, many things and uh, it's in today football, I think that uh, that uh, on individual level, team level, everything, if we speak about really 
level of the football uh, that that everything was must be on the on the highest highest point you told me about uh, uh, your injuries that as a as a young player you got injured did that affect your career a lot and um, was there was there a point where maybe some injury prevented you to of becoming a bigger player than you you became but for me it was three important moments you know first one was when i was 19 when you are uh, like some top prospective players and uh, immediately two three years after that and again i went to australia uh, to play it was my third year. but i don't like to to you know to find excuses for myself because you know this happened with some reason and this is again it was it some kind of again school for me and again when i speak with the players i want to explain them why is important to do the things to do prevention to after the the, the match after the you didn't do that have, as I, a player i did i did i cannot but i think that always you can do more mm -hmm. that, that uh, something uh, you know it's easiest way to say i it it just unlucky i i don't believe it's, you have to make the things in the best way and then to need to have a little bit of of luck and this is why i really want you know and sometimes i know that players think okay he put in front of us this this that da, da, da. but everything what i'm doing for for them for for them as individual just to try to protect them and in other way to improve them uh, as as the players did did this australian you you played for how long uh, i was one year there one year in sydney sydney yeah. did this experience help you as a as an individual as as i don't know maybe opening your eyes or some okay australian football isn't so yeah, yeah fantastic but the experience itself seeing new people new territories did that help you I think that every experience like that can can help and uh, in Australia it's a very strong Croatian uh, community you meet the people there also you 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 see the the the, the other way of living Australia it's really special country and they, they do the things in uh, different ways and uh, you see some different sports and for them I don't know baseball cricket they have these Aussie rules uh, uh, like their kind of uh, something between football and rugby. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's it's, Australian it's, football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's uh, it's interesting, and of course, I think that every every experience like that may, can make you a better person. So, because I'm I'm very curious, when did you start about thinking about becoming a, a coach? Uh, many many coaches, big coaches from what I know, you know, like uh, who didn't, who were talented youth players, yes, and had some injuries maybe when they were young and their careers didn't develop as they wanted. Um, they started thinking about becoming coaches much sooner, maybe than players who, you know, their activity is uh, prodigious and they get to a high level and maybe they don't have the time. Did these things, little things, started making you uh, make made you start thinking about uh, becoming a, a coach earlier no no i had only one dream to to be player and this was the only one <laughs> only one and to achieve my dreams you know when 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 you was young it was you know this uh, video tapes you know like video recorder yes ads. of course it was and it was when I got first from, you know, Pele, how he used to play. After that came Maradona and all these Croatian players. Like, uh, for me, it was Zvonimir Boban. He was this kind of player of personality and everything. And he just all the time... He was your hero, Boban? He was, yeah, he was, he was uh, on the pitch, but also out of the... You know, very strong personality and... Uh, we all remember the 1990... Yeah. Red. yeah. Cervena Zvezda, Dinamo Zagreb, yeah. Cervena Zvezda yeah. fight, fight yeah. with Bob, Boban yeah. being. Uh, he, he is important part also of Croatian history of the, some of these moments, you know. 
And when you are all the time, you are all the time somewhere there, you are connected with these guys, you know, you see the Haji, how he play, you see all these guys, and uh, you know, you have just one dream to, to show, you know, but it's all the time something is happening. And when I came back from uh, Australia after that third injury, and then I met my, my wife, and... Uh, you are how old? How old I were was, you? I was 25. Yes, something like this. 1924. 24. And uh, I uh, started to play in the second division, Croatia one club. And with some time, I, after every game, my knee is starting to swell and I start to have the problems, you know. And she told me, like, Jericho, but maybe to think about, you know, something. But what something, you know? This is my life. It's what I'm happy. I'm here with you. I have my friends. We, we play. We enjoy. Did you have money as a, as a second uh, in Australia? Did you make some money? Ma for me, money was never. Uh, you need money to to live. But for me, this is not. Some, never was something what will. Uh, I will make my decision because of this or that amount. I have like different things. Of, you need to have for for good life to give something for your family but in some moments i i just want to be the happy in different way to have something when i wake up when, when i go somewhere that i have good feeling that i don't uh, hey oh, i must do this again you know i need this kind of motivation and uh, the energy and the things Go back to the story with yeah, your wife. and I started to, yeah, maybe she's right. Maybe I should think about something. And uh, I started to watch these kids, how they train in that club. And I wake one morning, wake up, and I decide it's enough. Really? Yeah. 24 Just, years old? No, I was older. I, it was two, three years I still playing, but it was in that moment. When we started to discussion, uh, I said, OK, now it's enough. Before 30 years yeah, old. Yeah. And I, uh, I came to my friends, I will never forget, and they, I said, listen, guys, I don't play anymore. Yeah, I die cop. I kind of, it's, no, it's how, well, how was that in Croatia? They, they call me Kopa, like Kop my nickname from Kopic Kopa. They Kopa. Me, I die Kopa. And this was my uh, this was my decision, and I started with all these licenses, uh, BA uh, Pro, and uh, I took. Uh, 2012, I think you were pro, pro license. I think something. I, I read yeah. something oh, like that. <laughs> I'm, I must uh, yeah, I, I must check my my time. notes, but I think 2013. Well, 13 Pro. 13 Pro. Yeah. Yes, that's why. And I'm anyway, I. Uh, took the, the uh, generation uh, 1992, the guys born 1992, and I saw one guy, he was tall, 156, he was 14, 15, something like that, and uh, 156, 49 kilos. I said, what is this? This is the quality, you know? And this guy was Marcelo Brozovic. Who Brozovic? Played, yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? He was, he, he was my first team which I play, which I train. It was, he was part there. I, and I gave him to be captain. I put him in for 3-3 defensive midfielder. And immediately uh, from that moment, I saw the profile of the kid, which, you know, when you see him now, what he achieved, it's... Yes. And that I can compare the, the, the levels of these young players, because I didn't stay too long in, uh, in academy football. Uh, but, you know, you, you still can make a comparison, how he was making decisions, what he did under pressure, how mentally fast uh, was he, how... Uh, about endurance, about uh, many things, and uh, it's good to make, uh, to make comparisons. Have you seen him afterwards when he... Yeah, yeah, when he signed his professional contract with Dinamo, uh, his, his parents called me and... Uh, his uh, grandfather, he's from one, one city, one city, it's village close to the Zagreb, Okuje. And uh, you know, when, was, uh, when it's winter time, when it's snow, 
how to say this ralica you know what move the the snow oh the uh, yeah i know yeah, i know yeah. the, this big yeah, cars yeah yeah and this cannot come it's too far away to come in that village you know and then they were calling we will be a little bit late he was driving him every day and every day you know and this is some special connection the, you know their grandparents his grandparents his, his grandfather grandfather yes. used to drive him all the time yes, and when, when there was no and he was yeah and he was waiting for him and drive because his parents were working and you know i remember every moment not only about him about all these uh, kids because i was with them for uh, for two years and these kids they they beat uh, all the the, the best uh, academies in uh, in Croatia. Where, where was that? What academy was that? Hrvatski Dragovoljac. This is a second, I think that they are now third or even fourth uh, division. Fourth, fourth division. But at the moment, at that moment, this was like, let's compare with voluntary now. Yes. Something like that. Okay. Voluntary okay. now in second division. I, I hope voluntary will promote this to not say, but uh, let's say something like that. You know, okay, when, so when I see the stadium of voluntary and when I make this comparison, I will say something like that, yes. Oh, very nice. So you coached Marcelo yeah. Brozovic in yes. your first year as, yes, a, my first year as, as a coach. As a, no. But I, I would go back because you told me you had tapes. Yeah, you had tapes with Pelé, you had tapes with, uh, with Maradona. I remember <clears throat> during communist time in Romania, I don't know how it was, and maybe you can tell me in Croatia, in, during communist time in Romania, we only had like four hours of television in the weekend, and I think two hours daily, yeah? We didn't have these restrictions. Not, not all matches were what broadcasted, you know, mm -hmm. you had to get tr uh, permission from Ceausescu or Ceausescu's wife for a certain game to be transmitted and, and so on. Mm -hmm. um, and people in the western part of, of Romania, in Timisoara, let's say, uh, used to watch television, uh, Serbian television, Yugos Yugoslavian television. Yeah. Moment, in yeah. the southern parts, we used to watch Bulgarian television because mm -hmm. they had much more, much more yeah. football than you, we used to do. World Cup 86, World Cup 88. Uh, European Championship, all those things. Uh, were you like, you know, a, a huge fan? Did you watch all the games when you were I young? Everything. Everything. Yeah, I remember this. I what was know. your first World Cup that you remember, or maybe your first European uh, Championship? When was Argentina? Win 78 or 86? No, 86. 86. 86. 86. I remember this very well. Yeah. You remember 86, the 86. 86? But you know, I don't know when was after that was uh, Milan with this uh, Gullit, Van Basten, <coughs> and Rijka. This was a little bit uh, later yeah. and even, even uh, Steaua at that time was... Uh, yes, the 86 won the Champions yeah, League yeah. and then they lost 89 yeah, to Milan. Yeah. Milan started this there. This is something where I... Oh, I, I, I really remember, but we, I watch all these like World Cup games and this ex Yugoslavia. Like uh, it was normal to to be in front of television and to watch everything. And did you support, let's say, the Cervena Zvezda '91 team? No, no, never. That was always a. a pro it's not always, but you know, at that moment already. It problem was started and yes, the war know, started. I, I had a lot of uh, a lot of Serbian friends. We were house to house, apartment to apartment. I had two brothers. They support Partizan, but I was always, you know, for my born city Osijek, for Dinamo, and uh, for us this is something natural for us. I, no, I ne, nobody, my parents or uh, his their parents didn't speak about politic or these kind of things for us was uh, normally to support let's say Croatian clubs in Dalmatia it's always a uh, Hajduk there here is Osijek Dinamo there in uh, Kvarner and Istria it's uh, Rijeka and uh, normally the, you had uh, the, the Serbia with Zvezda Partizan all other clubs you had in uh, Slovenia, Olympia, Ljubljana, I don't know. Bosnia. Yes, 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 It yes. was very strong, a strong league. You Every, know. yeah, yeah. yeah you had uh, in BiH, Sarajevo, Željezničar, I don't know, Čelik, and uh, also in Montenegro, and uh, Vardar, Skopje, in Macedonia. It was very strong league, and I think that they had restriction that they cannot go out from the country until 27 years you know, for example, if you are number 10 in uh, Zvezda with Dragan Stojković and who can be in front of him? Nobody, you know, and when they 
It was really, really strong league. Until 27, they had restriction to get yeah. to, to it be transferred. 20, yeah, I think it was 27. Uh -huh. In Romania, it was I think very few Romanian players had the right, you know, to leave our country. They usually, most of them usually would end up, will end their careers here, you know. And there were many offers from I don't know, uh, Real Madrid came for some players, and yeah. they they never let them. Paris Saint Germain wanted some players, yeah. and big clubs wanted, you know, during that time, and and the state wouldn't allow yeah, it. Yeah, I remember uh, Belodedic when he played for uh, for Cervena. For, for Cervena, as well as I watched him when they play against Osijek. He, uh, he wasn't Osijek. allowed to play for one year, I think. Mm. You know, when he left Romania, because yeah. he left Romania, that was the rule. Yeah. Because he was, uh, he yeah, seeked he, asylum. The, you know, when, when, when you saw him on the pitch, his personality and how he managed, you see immediately that this is uh, like uh, top, top quality as a player and this this kind of, of leader for the team you know it's before coming back to your career <clears throat> I was always curious because we we lack the talent that we used to have although this year in, in the last year you know you can see some improvements in Romanian football yes. the national team with there are some good results but of course we look at Croatian sports Croatian football especially also basketball is fantastic, polo, water polo is fantastic, but we, we look at your, your football players and the amount of players you, you create and you, you export from, from Croatia. From a country which has 3.9 million citizens, yes. not 18 million like it's in Romania, yeah? How do you do that? <coughs> okay. Uh, the one important thing I think for sure it's uh, it's uh, which level of talent you have. But I think that Romanian players have a talent. I speak now about football because of uh, it, for me it's also when somebody asks me how you in basketball, in handball, in uh, in water polo, I don't know, on all this, even uh, skiing, even tennis, we have a lot of really. Uh, Great, uh, great at least. But if we if we speak about football, okay, we have really talented players, young young kids. I was uh, head of academy. I know of Dinamo Zagreb. And, uh, you I know, I you. know all players for, uh, which were born 2010 until now. It's, 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 it's top quality. But what I what I uh, I cannot say that. It's everybody, it's like that, but this kind of determination, this, this resistance to when it's tough, to go to the limits, I think that here it's some space for improvement for for Romania. I don't know especially how the what are demands in the academy it's uh, how which kind of approach uh, coaches have but uh, I know in in academy this is not coincidence because you have all this I don't know now Modric Guardiol uh, now Baturin now it's it's not this is it's very very tough work plus talent and for me, what I what I saw what I saw now three component because I watched two three games uh, uh, because of my my son in uh, in Ukluj now, it's about facilities because for example this pitch where they play you cannot expect that these guys will show some uh, technically top football because this pitch cannot uh, it's it's not a. F uh, you know, it's just not for the for development. It's not uh, well enough for development of of, of young players. And uh, I again, I don't know in in academies in Romania uh, <coughs> what is the plan, what what they do from under seven, under eight, under nine, how they make uh, improvement, but. Uh, but talent, talent, it's here. I see. But now you have uh, under 21 win against Montenegro. Yes. And uh, another one was win now. This uh, Germany versus Germany. Versus we Germany. beat Germany 2-0. Under 20 uh, last call up for national team. Uh, also, okay, uh, the team lose against Germany, but until 70, 75 minutes, we are here. It's it's not big difference. It's just about to to little bit to adapt these things, maybe to improve 
the, the facilities to give to the kids uh, better better conditions and I think that uh, Romanian Romanian football must have uh, ha must have future. Children in Croatia practice sports all the time. Yeah, but they also play this PlayStation and these things. Okay, but but percent percentage because uh, what I know is this. Yeah, in 2019 there was a study Eurostat study. Yes, mm -hmm. which showed that Romania is second to last in practicing sports, Romanians, yeah? yeah. Only 16% practice once a week sports, which is, yeah, in Northern Europe, it's about 78, 79%, something like that, yeah. And yeah. I was very curious how it is in Croatia because I think it has a lot to do with this. The more yeah. you practice sports as a child, yeah, of course. the more uh, uh, people you can choose from yeah the more it's, the more it's uh, bigger it's the base like, yes the yeah, base is bigger, bigger so you have you have where to choose do they practice sports but they practice i cannot speak about percentage i know i can find out somehow yes. but uh, i don't know the details i know when 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 the the kids decide to go in sports we speak now about uh, Football. If we speak about Hajduk Academy, Rijeka Academy, Osijek, uh, Dinamo, even this uh, in Zagreb, you have this uh, Lokomotiva, it's doing great things. It, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of tough work. It's a uh, lot of tournaments where they go, Dinamo play against Benfica, against Real, against Juventus, and they are, they, they in most of the cases, they, they beat this. And this is, they, they build their confidence, you know, when you go in this tournament, you win first place, you go there, you go there. And, uh, you know, all these things, when you put them together, uh, I think that this, this makes a uh, difference. I don't know about the, the, the base, about the, the kids for uh, when, how many of them uh, go out and play something, but when we come to the, the academies of football, it's a lot of, lot of hard work. What is the budget of uh, Dinamo Zagreb's academy? I'm curious. Approximately, it's, yeah, plus minus. Uh, it's it's. How many it's, pitches do you have there? We have uh, only for academy three three big like normal size. We have like one balloon yes. and uh, two two small pitches. We it's around four hundred kids. 400 kids. 400 kids. Uh, kids, they are all like... Uh, they get the uh, top they, from they, everywhere. Yeah, they, they went, they came from the, from the scouting, from the trials, from... And, uh, you know, when I came there, I saw that uh, the, the, this is why it's tough to, to, to speak about the budget, uh, because I think it's different year by year. I saw, for example, this uh, balloon for uh, when it's uh, winter time uh, it wasn't there at that moment and i put pressure on our uh, board of directors that we need this we need uh, some extra improvement for the work on uh, uh, strength we need a new gps's for example uh, at that moment the club uh, allowed for uh, all uh, from under 13 or 14 for all uh, 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 age groups to have uh, the best GPS and you know that we can control the things and you know depends on, on situation we the, the club wants to to improve the level but it's it's not that we, that there are its conditions like I don't know in England or Germany it's it's not that level but it's level of, of work of uh, attitude of uh, willingness to to improve the things and the coaches because I, th I think those are the most important ones yes the coaches are they well paid first of all second of all how old are they are they young people are they old people and do those coaches I don't know, are they uh, age specifically chosen and how, how do you do this in an but, academy like Dinamo? We Zagreb? have the same discussions in, in Croatia. Is it better to have one coach uh, specific for this age group or to change? Or, but it's for me, what I, when I speak about Dinamo, about my, my team here, to make something what is family. 
And uh, this is something what when I was there, what I was trying to build also in, in academy. And I don't think that it's so important if you, if this coach, if it's here or there, still if we have everything under control, if we communicate well, if we deal with the problems, with agents, with parents, with its million different situations, uh, and uh, and they must have experience with uh, working with the kids and we always have uh, the young coaches who stay like volunteers for uh, one two years they, volunteers yeah they, really? they they are not paid they are just happy to be part of uh, dynamo academy and then we give them to start from this under six under seven and they year by year they they depends how they uh, show themselves and uh, which progress they make we we give them to to go forward this is something what i again try to to make it here because uh, victor and adrian they were part of dynamo academy and in the summer when we make it some changes in the in the stuff i want to show everybody that everyone can uh, make improvement okay you was there i i, I uh, got uh, many positive things about you guys okay come with me here i will give you i will give you club will give you opportunity to work something together to build something together and to be very important part of my stuff and that uh, finally important part of of, of dynamo one more thing, and then I'll <coughs> will I'll make you choose some things. Right. You know, um, do they bribe the parents? Do they bribe the coaches there? Because in Romania, it happened, and it happens. You know, the that's the kid of someone who's more influential, and he has to play. Uh, some parent brings something, you know, to the coach. You know, let him play a little more because he's my son and, you know, you get some extra money. Does this happen in, in Croatia too? I don't want even to listen to this. This is not uh, possible uh, for uh, in, in Dynamo. <coughs> it's if you just have something like this, this kid goes out. Really? No, it's <laughs> how I see that. For me, you know, it's, again, everybody have different approach to for the things i always look these players uh, young especially like it's, it's not the same if i speak about i don't know uh, uh, patrick olsen or eddie nagore or selmani they have there but when i speak with uh, uh, about young kids uh, for me it's always uh, to see him like my own child what i want from my child first it's to to develop to grow quality person second to make good athlete to understand what sports really mean and after that football player and what i saw that many parents everywhere start from football player and they miss this two things they everybody just see how he play how he dribble but this is not something what he will determine him in his life this is only one part yes this guy is talented but you need to to be well educated person you need to have a strong character you need to have mentality after that you need to understand why the things in sport are important and then after that if you are top professional player this is the this is good thing and uh, f from that reason I think that many players after career face different kind of problems because you know approach from the beginning how I see the things was not right and uh, when I was there and when I speak about academies about uh, young players I see the things in that way okay let's choose some things yes okay. rubrica ledger so let's start did you taste sarmale or mitch of course but and what do you choose this one always this one in the uh, winter time when it's uh, like we, christmas we, time yeah, christmas time we, we eat but here uh, romanians make smaller we make little bit like uh, 
You make them bigger. Well, and we make them like a little bit uh, bigger, and we, we also know sometimes serve them in the, some soup, you know, from where we cook this. Ah, I don't know how to cook. I never cook. <laughs> when I go in the kitchen, uh, my wife just told me move go out, you know. <laughs> and of course, uh, I like both. I like to eat. You like to eat? Yes. Yeah, so it doesn't show. What? It um, doesn't show on you. I'm killing myself every day with training to, to not show, but uh, I like this. It's, I, I think everybody likes. So you, you still keep, uh, uh, you, you practice sports daily? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes? I must. If I not, I will have 100 kilos. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So, but, but do you have a favorite between the two? Because you must choose. Sarmale. Sarmale. Okay, the second one. We have Romanian wine. We have Romanian beer, if you taste it maybe, and we have palinka. Do you know, do you, have you tasted palinka? It's a prune, very hard thing, of, of above 50 degrees. I don't drink this, I don't like beer, and I can take a glass of wine sometimes with good uh, company, the dinner, but beer I just don't like it, and I think that this is a little bit too strong. Too strong? Oh, too strong. So only one glass of wine? This is something like rakia or something? Yes, yeah, yes. No. No. So I only wine. You take you, you from only these three wine. Wine, perfect. Okay, now we take a more serious approach. Nice. Next one. Superliga or the the and Croatian uh, league. Which one do you uh, think is is stronger? This is not fair question. Oh, it's very fair question. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's different, you know. It's different. It's different completely leagues because we. In Croatia, have uh, only ten, uh, ten uh, teams. Teams, and you have Dinamo Zagreb, which is uh, very strong, and build this coefficient. What we speak, you have Hajduk, Rijeka, Osijek. In Superliga this season, I think it's really interesting, and uh, it's you cannot go in any game. Nobody can go and win that and say, okay, we are favorites, we will win. Everybody, it's tough. And in this question, I uh, took the joker. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's I, have, I have one. You I have, have one joker. I don't have phone call, but I can use one joker. One joker you can use. But okay. tell me about the pressure of, of coaching Dinamo, Zagreb and Hajduk split. Dinamo, Beca Dinamo. Because I hear, I hear stories. Chernat, you know Chernat? Of course, yeah. number 10. Yeah, number, number 10, fantastic yeah. player. He told me that they lo lose a game sometime, and then when he come, they come back to the base, there are 11 graves it was dug. In, in split, yes. Yes, it was. in split. Yeah. So tell me about the, the pressure. Okay, Dinamo, Dinamo it's, uh, if you win the games, is normal. If you lose the game, it's big, one game is a big problem. Yes. It's normally how just long? How long were you? I did. I was for uh, four months. I took the team on third position, but in that moment was changing the board of directors and uh, there were these problems the, with the Mamish yeah, brothers. It was, it was many things, and you know, I took the team in third position. I left the team on first position. We make some good things in Europe. Win against West Ham away, away I know. Sevilla and. Sevilla 1-0, West yeah. Ham 1-0. Yeah, it was for me, I, I'm very proud about uh, that moment. And in Hajduk, this is, you know, it's a lot of energy and, you know, when it's good, it's it's amazing atmosphere, it's, it's tough. When it's not good, you can expect, you can expect everything, you know? Everything? Yeah, you can expect. Oh, it's not good, everything. But, but I mean everything, it's, you know, they are, they, how to explain? The kids from uh, three, four, five years, they already know how to sing all songs. And the old people, 60, 70, when they sit uh, close to the sea, they speak about Hajduk. Oh, Hajduk is, is religion, you know? And it's, it's like that. They have, it's just, like, it's, it's just this kind of, of club. You know, I was one of six or seven coaches in history of Croatia who was uh, coach of both clubs. Yes, seven. And seven. And uh, especially, you have positive moments, you have uh, bad moments, but this is everything part of uh, football and uh, yes. Oh, fantastic. Okay, you took uh, the joker. Next yeah. ones. The three 
You know, we, they, they talk a lot about, about uh, Berlija, about Luis Montano. The talk is less about Salmani. I imagine you choose yeah. Salmani, of course, yes. But I, I wanted to know your, your opinion about the three of them, because they seem right now like the two, three top strikers in, in Romanian football. I don't know if they are. Maybe they are. you don't agree with me. I had a lot of... Uh, my my strikers in my teens was always or the best strike or like in the top goal or scorers in the league or uh, close to close to that. I really? Had, yeah, I had uh, Nemets in uh, Paphos. Nemets? The Adam. Adam is top. Adam, yes. Adam, it's personality. It's hard working guy. It's uh, and brain. Yeah, it's he's top. A lot of brain. Star, yeah. How he's old was he when you had him? In I Paphos? was there. 2018-19 before yes. Corona I was there yes five six years something like that uh, he top. Yes. he was also my captain <laughs> uh, you like your strikers being your captain or not necessary but he, he is this kind of guy yes I had I don't know uh, Bruno Petkovic in Dinamo also in in Botev and I came in Boten Botev in I don't know four or five games they score zero goals after that, uh, until the end of the uh, half of season, uh, it was Antoine Baroan. Mm -hmm. I took him. He they, he was part of the B team because they had some problems with him. I take come come here, and we scored the most goals after uh, the same or something like that, like CSK at that moment. And he's also a very good striker. But all of them are different profiles. This uh, this guy, it's he filled the goal very well. Berlija. No. He is he's there all the time. He's you know, this is how he scored there in uh, against Pauk. Yeah. Yes. Uh this this guy is uh, a very talented player. Luis Montano. Very talented. I like him. I I like both of them. And this my guy you see in the eyes. This is <laughs> Watch, you see, you see the eyes and you see the, the energy. When he came, he had, uh, we must go back to the yes, December yes. and yeah. January, you know. I call some Romanian players, uh, I need help because we will be relegated. I need something. Nobody. No Romanian players no, wanted they, to come? No, no, no. I cannot say nobody, but most of them. Yeah. And not all, 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 all uh, only Romanian, I speak uh, about some other players also. No, it's what we will risk, uh, you know, for what to go there, uh, you don't have any chance, you know. And I was desperate to, 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 to find the players to see, you know, and uh, I took Velkovsky, didn't play for six months. Uh, Pavicic didn't play also for for long time and uh, somebody put uh, Selmani name. On the on the table, and, uh, and how is the process done? Uh, pro uh, choosing the players, it's because very, very simple. Because uh, yeah. because your bosses say that you are picky. The time, what was that mean? Picky? picky, you don't you don't accept the first offer. That you only that you are very pretentious. That you uh, they they bring you players and no this one is not good this one is not Dynamo material this one is not Dynamo okay. material but again it's very simple uh, which kind of Dynamo we want to see on the pitch for this kind of Dynamo we need this kind of player for me it's simple we want to see uh, quality on the ball okay we need this profile we need we need to play high defensive line. I need fast player and I need, uh, if we want to play high pressure, okay, they must go there, high pressure, when the opponent kick the ball, we must need, uh, we have to win aerial duel. If we make uh, high pressure and we lose aerial duel there, what, we did nothing, you know, and if like uh, puzzles, you know, like, okay, yes. if we want to do like this, we need this, if not, we must play different uh, football. Last season, we couldn't play high, Happened because we didn't have this profile. Central of defenders and, and okay, the, the attackers. Matter. We and didn't have this balance to play in that way, and that's it. So yeah. how was it with Salmani? And with Salmani was, you know, we have one, uh, one part. It's uh, Cosmin uh, is our at the moment sporting director, and he make a scouting, and he has uh, 
few of his guys <coughs> and they are trying to find the players and this is one research and another research is million of agents who yes, propose is. the players from everywhere, you know, and we have uh, one group, we, Mr. Niskolescu, Mr. Uh, Kozmin and myself, we put the player there, I, everybody, I watch the player, I say my opinion, and we were looking for a central striker, it was some uh, players, and I watched him how he play in Israel, no good, it's not good. Really? I, no, it wasn't good, you know, and then I watch, uh, when he came back in uh, Sweden or um, so so, and then I went back two years ago to see. Pff, I see this guy can do a lot. So you I first mean, first you saw first something that was newest, new. Uh, he was not in the good shape. Then one year ago I go back better back back back. I go, go back to see and I see this guy make a pressure, uh, make a run, uh, keep the key possession, he is there to score, he, he filled the game, you know, uh, I said I take him. Yeah, but he didn't score, let's go for him. And uh, he was struggling uh, in, the, in these six months, he was not in the, in the good shape, you know, and uh, because Romanian league, uh, it's, we, we finished uh, 22nd of December, already 3rd we went to Turkey and I don't know, 1920 of January we already planned. You don't have time to make some miracles with the players of improvements or their status and you are, and then uh, he got, he, at the end he got some injury, but his determination to prove himself from this already from when he came but this specifically from from uh, the when pre-season start from the summer how he do the trainings how he uh, take care about uh, what he eat how he rest how to everything it's amazing and uh, i think that all these goals and assists he deserved what has he have what what's what had he, uh, does he have above those two? What's, what's his strength uh, in relation? I cannot say because I don't know impact, impact, impact of these two guys for the dressing room. For, for example, uh, when he uh, speaks in dressing room, uh, everybody, everybody wants to hear him. Oh, everybody stops, yeah, yeah. stops speaking. It's not stop, it's not like the army, but you know, when he starts to speak, he gives us some energy when Eddie start to speak in dressing room uh, it's some energy it's there you know when we go out I think that we are we are at the moment first team in the league by scoring the goals in the first 15 minutes or something yes. like that you know when we go out with these guys from the dressing room this is a killing mentality yes. you know and of course you cannot we are not on the level to play like this 90 minutes but uh, I, I really appreciate everything what he uh, gave for the team and uh, for the club this season. I think. But leave him aside. Which one of those would suit better your footballing style and your footballing mentality? Uh, Luis Montano or Berlija? For, for this, I need to, to 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 see them more, to feel them more. But both of them really have uh, quality as a strikers. Okay. Uh, next one. <coughs> oh. Your opponents. <laughs> <laughs> because I, I didn't put some of then them, I, I didn't put Shumudika, let's say, because Shumudika is new, you yeah? You can put, but it's new, <coughs> but I know everything about Mr. Shumudika. Yeah, Shumudica, yeah but, but those guys, you played against their teams, yes? Yeah, but you, do you know, that you know how many times I speak about all these guys? Which one put, uh, put you in, in most difficulty, your team? Which one did you feel of, of those guys that did something tricky? Because uh, I, I give you an example. Yeah, I asked Haji. You know, I asked once Haji. Can I take a little bit of water? Yeah, of water. And I asked Haji, okay, tell me about your opponents. Your, and he told me Petrescu. And he told me a specific example in a game in which Petrescu changed the, the shape of his team and he played with a romp in, in, the, in the middle of the pitch to. Uh, emulate his team and it was one-on-one -on -one and he won that game only tactically. Did that happen with any of those guys? 
Can you go back to these drinks? <laughs> <laughs> to Palinka. <laughs> it was maybe, nice. Maybe it's moment now to try. No, you, you before of this. Uh, you had your joker. Sorry. <laughs> now it's right moment. No, I can say like this, uh, Mr. Haji. Full respect about the player, about his personality, and uh, what is like he. How I see his DNA as as a coach. He is very strict. Uh, he played in the, in the academy the same way. They and the team they play in the same way. Uh, they they open the game in uh, three four three. They make uh, pressure in four four uh, two diamond shape. He and you can see exactly every game what he asks from the players. And he has this, how to say in in the club this, this is his club. Yes. To choose, listen, this player for this position, ta ta ta, and you would uh, like that. You would like to have that. Everybody wants to. Everybody <laughs> to. I think it's privilege to have, uh, you know, like that. But uh, I'm my own boss. Yeah, it's it's. He's doing excellent job, and uh, it's very important. What I heard again, the, the, he put his own money in this academy, and he yes. makes something from yes. Iranian football. And from me, uh, top respect. Okay, uh, next next guy. It's uh, it's about uh, combination of uh, of what he did as a player, and uh, it's very connected with how he wants to play. This is uh, Mr. Petrescu want to to everything. It's about how to make the result. And uh, pragmatic, very pragmatic, with uh, strong mentality, and he like this profile of players who can have this uh, guard on the pitch, this character, this mentality, to with uh, not too many things what are not necessary to win the games, and this is how I see him and the game. <laughs> Okay, Big it's, it's 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 very interesting because you know yeah. you, you have a fresh eye. Yeah. We, are is, used, uh, we are we are used to those yeah. guys, but you're until now. <clears throat> what you said is pinpoint. For me, I, I know them for more years than, than you do. But what you said until now is perfect characterization, yeah. really. And uh, big respect again. <laughs> what yeah. to say? I like, know. I like him a lot. Really. You like Dorinel. What do you like about Dorinel? Everything. <laughs> you know why? I had some uh, thoughts about him. And then I watched this game. National, uh, national arena, ex-players, legends against... It was this summer. Yes, 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 yes I guess. Yeah. Or former national The team. way how he play, he have every right to deserve from his players everything what, you know, to ask from his players the way uh, how they have to play. How he run this game. Yes. Which mentality he has this game. That's it. When I saw, it's not, okay, I'm here, I'm walking and I ask, no, 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 no. This is him. You can adapt or not adapt. If you don't adapt, you are not for uh, Otsalul. Finish. And... Uh, what, what do you say he, about this incident with the player? I think that... Uh, Is it an exaggeration of the press? Uh, yes. No. First, for me, it's, it's about moment. Second, I know, I feel him in the game. He is, if he can, he will go enter the pitch. And it's not nice to see these kind of things because it's not nice to see. But, you know, I don't even think that he was his, you know, it's, it was just like, look at me. Look, you know, we don't have 15 minutes to discuss. It's not nice to see, but I understand what was the, what was the, the point and I think that he, he learned something from uh, this story, maybe how to control his emotions a little bit, and this, this, this will be okay. But I feel that you, you feel like very close to, to his 
way of, of oh. seeing things, not, not specifically on the, about this incident, but the way you talk about him with admiration shows me that he's the kind of, of, of coach that you like, that you're... No, I like all of them, but when I speak about, I cannot speak with the same energy because uh, Mr. Uh, Haji and then uh, Mr. Petrescu, they, they don't have the same energy like yes. him. And when I speak about him, I... Is he closer to I mean, your if, style? Um, in, in some way about how they want to press, uh, uh, mm. like about uh, intensity running, about, uh, about uh, dual situation. I see how, for example, for him is important Diego Zivolic, who was also my player in Pafos, and I know Diego uh, is, uh, again, as a character, as a strong dual player, intensive player. You, he, can, he put him now to play even in uh, central defender because he he trusts him and this is the profile of players and I, I need to respect because I don't think that his I know that his budget for the players it's not the same like for the other and I think that he squeeze uh, everything no. out of out of the players yeah and he has one of the one of the best players in the league Chisotti, Chisotti of course yeah. Yeah, we, we Without Chisotti, he will be in a little bit bigger problems in offensive organization because he gave them... Uh, you Chisotti know. is... <laughs> Would you like Chisotti in your team, a player like Chisotti? I think that we have at the moment top midfield players. In the, if I have to Chisotti at the moment, when I have, uh, for example, I don't yeah, know... Milanov, uh, Gnaure, Kerjan, uh, Gnaure, uh, Olsen... Uh, yeah. and, mm, it's top, but I really think that we have. Uh, it would be difficult for him to get into your. Also, also Martinian doing uh, a lot of improvement at the moment. You know, uh, Chisotti. Chisotti is the profile who can, uh, uh, like, kill <laughs> this opponent's lines with his movement, with yes. his, uh, yeah. you know, and uh, and it's very, very. He is doing all the time very logical things. But it's again, you, you know what he will do, but it's tough to defend. And, uh, and this is a uh, big strength of, of the team. And with this defensive, how many? They conceded five goals. Yeah. And they didn't uh, lose the game. Uh, big respect. Next one. Next one. Uh, Ukluj. Uh, I know. Yeah. You are no video sabo. Uh, Mr. Sabo, uh, again, the same story. You have to see the game, how he play. That game, I watch him. He play... The golden uh, generation. Yeah, right back he play. No, uh, uh, in that game. Da. Yes, because <laughs> no one could... And uh, you see positioning. You see how he open himself. You, five meters here, five, five meters there. How he communicate, how he see the things. And this is his team. Uh, tactically perfect preparation for the preparation for opponent uh, perfect but I think that we surprised them uh, their first half yes we played uh, really really well I don't know why how you lost yeah. that game because this, this one was that I from my side said that we were a little bit unlucky yes you really were yeah. in that game you, you dominated yeah. the first half yeah but against uh, his teams it's very tough to play because of uh, he likes to choose uh, players with a lot of experience and a lot of his players can be coaches on the pitch and have Dan Easter who is for me uh, again top player and uh, how, they, how they play, how they control the game I have a feeling when they score, they kill the game so easy, so easy with this confidence, with this uh, quality that they have. And uh, Mr. Sabo is doing an uh, amazing job there for me. Before the last one, I must ask you something. Do owners in Croatia invo get involved in tactical aspects? Do they? Tell the coaches how to do their job, a first eleven, maybe who to change, when to change. 
Does this happen? I, it was some situations in past, but at the moment I cannot guarantee how what kind of <coughs> communication have some coach with. But uh, what I know, no, no. Is his position for example? You difficult? know, I was in in. Uh, in Dinamo, in Dinamo Zagreb, uh, and in Hajduk Split, two biggest clubs. Nobody never asked me which eleven will start the game. So, is Elias Haralambus's job more difficult? Would it be difficult for you to have this kind of owner to, you know, to tell the first eleven before the match, like three days before the match, maybe get involved with the with the changes during the match would you would you accept something like that would you imagine something like that you know how how i see the things uh, all of uh, <coughs> these gentlemen here gentlemen here they have their own house my house is dinamo at the moment and we have the way how we do the things and all of them they have the way how they do the things and also in Fetcher Suburb, they, this is their house. And they can do the things how they want. Uh, of course. Yeah. And uh, w what I can see that uh, nine years they didn't win the title. Yes. I think that this is first very big plus. Second thing, how they play at the moment in Europe how they present Romanian football. And from my side, it's, uh, it's only, only what I can say, it's, it's plus. Personally, I, don't, I didn't play against, against FCSB at the moment, but everything what, what they did together, uh, in these last two years, I don't know what happened, why they were not uh, champions, champions before. nine years <laughs> and how many coaches was, uh, was, uh, was there at, uh, from that time. But at the moment they play, they make very good uh, roster. They have a lot of quality, they have a yes. lot of offensive potential. And uh, for me, it's tough to speak, you know, because I don't, I don't know the, the details, you know. Yes. I don't know how, how, what they communicate, how, but they, as a family, they, as a team, they are doing uh, top things and uh, big, big respect, uh, respect from my side. Because many people say that it's even harder and it's even more important what they achieved, knowing the situation, you know, because, uh, okay, the team must be well trained to do some, to, to be able to win a championship like they <laughs> won last year right. and with the owner, you know, just recognizing what that he... Yeah, but this is again, you know, it's... I don't know how people can make like uh, <coughs> some conclusions when they don't know what they are doing on daily basis, how they prepare the training sessions, what they... Uh, this must be something together if yes. they are not together but it's no way that they can play on this level and that they can uh, achieve achieve this kind of, of results next one so w which one would you choose you get one I don't know. <laughs> another joker <laughs> what do we do no I don't know okay uh, it's really yeah, no, your characterizations but, were but, fantastic, and, and I'm very, I, I but, think... But you miss some of the... Yes, of course. Seats. Many, many I miss. That's I miss many, I miss Gulka, I miss many of them. Hermann that last season. Yes. But for me, this was Arsenal, how they played. <laughs> Maldarashanu. Maldarashanu. You like Maldarashanu? He's doing top job. Yeah. Okay, they lose, uh, I don't know, six goals. This, you know, and this is football. Rednik is a good coach well, as well. You know, it's, it's, you know when, when I heard, ah, it's no good coach. What is this? Maldareshanu with uh, Hermans that last season, they play for me fantastic football. We win at home 1-0, like, you know, we, we, I like to say, like, uh, say, like, uh, this uh, little Balkanian cheaters, we found something to score this goal and, uh, <laughs> they play top, they destroy us uh, second game there and uh, it's, it's a lot of, 
all of them, they are my colleagues, but I'm not, uh, you know, I, I'm not kind of person that I will say I disagree with God if I don't think so. It's, they, they, they are really, and then all of them, they had uh, uh, careers and uh, as a players, you know, and they yes. have uh, uh, like complete uh, insight of Football. Do you remember that 1-0 uh, Croatia Romania of with course. Davor Shuker's goal yeah, like 1998 when he was uh, uh, checking his checking, post. Yeah, yeah. You know, when I speak with Florentin Petre also. You know, he, he see some things individually, you know, about the body position, about this. It's it's lot of games in his uh, and I think that this kind of persons a Romanian football, okay, you can say, ah, oh, he catch him, his guy had did that. Everybody has something, but I think that uh, they are the value of of Romanian sport. Yes, the riches of yeah, I, I fully agree with you. I fully agree, and they they all deserve respect. Yeah. They all deserve yeah. all respect. But <clears throat> before the last the, the 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 last pictures, I must ask you because it's Dinamo FCSB, yeah. And I imagine that it's not, okay, it was this national team break uh, which didn't allow you, you know, to, to, to get the feeling, that feeling especially, the players, uh, some players come later and so on and so forth. But <clears throat> are you prepared like for a Hajduk Dinamo Zagreb match? Is this the same feeling, the same emotion? I think it's something like that. Yeah, I, I think it's something like that. I already start to speak with players because many of them, uh, yeah, for example, uh, Krzan said in one some media uh, that he was only watching this on the stands, and uh, you know, for some of them this will be uh, first game uh, with this emotion, you know, and uh, in derby games, <coughs> of course, it's about quality, it's about. But this mental stability, this uh, to to okay, it will be I don't know 30, 35, 40 thousand. It will be amazing support. That, you know, but we we are not there to play a derby. We are there to win a derby. You know, and this is mentality. And at the end, we will see. We will win. We will make a draw. I don't want even to think about uh, losing the game oh, against course. against top team. Yes. They're for uh, Romania, they're top team, and we know that, and we analyze them, and we know all, all details about them, but we have to believe in ourselves, uh, to prepare the game in the best possible way, and uh, as a team, as a family, to go out there and to, to give everything for three points. Three more choices. Uh, okay. Come on, next ones. This is easier, you know, they are not uh, here around us. Mm. Which one is your your favorite yeah. out of those four? Maybe this one, this this one is uh, first one is uh, genius yes. because only genius can produce something to make football as a sport better and to not follow the trends to make <coughs> the trends and. Uh, Klopp, pure energy, uh, like, like uh, heavy metal, how he say? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's that yeah. one. <coughs> Mental stability, experience, resistance in tough moments, always keep the things under control. <laughs> when you look him, everything looks like Easy, you know, it, well, it's it's eighty fifth minute. Uh, City are one it zero will, up. It will be okay. <laughs> How, but somehow, you know, like uh, aggressivity, tactical discipline, uh, duels also as as a player. But uh, it's <coughs> a bit full full respect. Uh, with full respect about everybody, but I think uh, Guardiola. You go with a with, with a yeah. genius. Yeah. Yeah, of course. You know, yeah. there not not many invented something. Yeah. He yeah. invents yeah. every day. And now, in the end, come on, let's see. 
One is the finalist in the World Cup, the other, the other is the Ballon d'Or. He, he won, yeah. Davor yeah. Schuker, 98? Yeah. For me, Schuker, he is from uh, my born city, Osijek. Manjo is top, <coughs> both of them. But uh, more refined, Shuker was. Uh, he's uh, like uh, he's something like, uh, like the. His technique was. Uh, his technique was also good, but it's it's different. He is like you know like uh, like uh, this mentality: never give up, go score, and uh, the, the the he started his career also from one. Uh, small city and uh, how he fights during his career and everything he deserve all respect but Schuker with his left foot with uh, these goals this is I think some some special level you know I, <coughs> I was very I was okay I, I'm a Bayern München fan so I yeah. I love him mm -hmm. but the way he played on the left side at Juventus so, Torino, this yeah. was one of the biggest surprises yeah. of, of my because life. Of because of yeah. his his capacity, it's unbelievable. Uh, his effort, he, yeah. the understanding of the yeah. game, this was also, unbelievable for also, me, really. Also, Ivica Olic, uh, he had yes. there for, uh, from the same part of uh, Croatia, and I played with Olic in, uh, in Marsania. Yeah, you played with Olic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was we, your colleague. Yeah, we, we made promotion <coughs> from uh, second to, to, to first division together and uh, we played some games and... Uh, Good left foot. But amazing capacities, you, know, you cannot imagine these guys, they can play striker, winger, what, whatever you yes. put them, because this is like the package, you know, of, of speed, of strength, of endurance, of football intelligence, of understanding its... Uh, Everything. Yeah, it's there, there, there. And the last one. Oh, we have more. Rakitic, Modric, Boban, yeah. Prosinetsky. 98 yeah. versus 2018. <laughs> <laughs> this, I, knew, I knew this would be... <laughs> this is impossible for me as well. Right. Uh, what, what to speak <coughs> about Modric, you know? About his way how he do the things also from academy and uh, how he came from Zadar and uh, also from the it was war and uh, he came there with, with without anything you know in Zagreb and then he went for uh, for uh, loan in Zrinski in Bosnia he was yeah he was, he was, all all it, was yeah, it was very tough league there especially for young players you know Rakitic also, it's, you know, and these guys, they are... I play one against, uh, against Prosinecki, you know, and uh, you cannot... You cannot come close to him, you know, because he's all the time, it, it's, it's, it's <coughs> amazing, it's amazing quality on the ball, it's amazing. And uh, Boban, how he, he see the game and... Uh, this personality, what uh, for me, with full, full respect uh, about Modric and Rakitic, I choose, choose these guys. <laughs> those, ones, those, those were also the the, the, the a, heroes, the nice. generational yeah. thing. Me, I have it. <laughs> Modric win everything, you know, the best player in the world. How to choose, you know? Yes. But that's those two. Yeah. Okay, Zeriko. We finish with this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> ah, finally, <laughs> finally. <clears throat> Okay, there's a long way, you know, till the end of, of this season. And the th things started amazingly. And, and, and the way you play, the way, the way Dinamo plays right now, and they, the way they played from the beginning, okay, you had injuries and everything, we all know about those things. But the way guys from, I, 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 um, I look at the game against Ocelu, you know, you had like seven people out with injuries mm -hmm. and still the guys coming in understand what they have to do. So, what is your goal until the end of the season? I, I mean, uh, football, I, in a football manner, yeah? What, what do you want to achieve when the season, season ends? What do you, what's your dream, you know? At the end of the season, when you when you finish, what would you like the season to have been 
for, for you? It's many things. It's many things. First of all, for me, it's important to build this DNA of Dinamo. That everybody, when they see the team, okay, <coughs> this is how Dinamo should play. And then you will have better moments. But this is the this is Dynamo and everybody understand that we are going in the right direction. This is for me very important. Uh, second thing, this is this is connected with these injuries because this little bit slow our process. Uh, but to to insist all the time in uh, in the quality of the game, how to solve uh, the problems on the pitch, how to control the game. How to not give uh, when you have two zero in uh, against uh, Botoshani at home to not give them uh, transition. How to uh, do the things and uh, to to develop the the style of play. Uh, third uh, is important for me. It's uh, individual improvement of all players, but especially to to improve young players and to build something as a strong base. For Dinamo, because at the moment, okay, uh, Razvan uh, is, let's say, older. Yes. He is. He is. He understands, but he also knows how I respect him and everything what he gave for the club. But for the club, but all all other players, I think that the club can count of them for one, two, three years, and that this is this is very important. And uh, this final, what uh, everybody wants, it's it's about results to to fight until the end for this uh, top six position. Okay, in the end I want us to, <laughs> if you could help me, yes. <laughs> just, uh <-huh. laughs> you know, like in a presentation. Like it's like this, yeah? You signed yeah. the contract. Okay, something. I signed the contract. Zeliko, okay, here it is. This is my shirt, number yeah. one. Yeah. Zeliko, thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. It, thank was, you it was a big pleasure having you yeah. and I hope you'll, you'll come back again and I hope, what I hope of, after our dialogue is that you will stay as long as possible in the Romanian football because I really think that we need people like you. I really think that you bring something good, fresh to our football, that your football, the football that your team practices is nice, good, positive football, the mentality is good and I think this is what Romanian football needs. People like you to cherish and to, uh, to cherish you, yeah? And to also together with those guys we yeah. showed earlier, together we can create something better. And this is, I think, very important for me. Thank you very much yeah. for having you. Thank you for your, your invitation. And this is for me, first time that I'm like yes. part of the show. And one <coughs> more time, I really want to say uh, thank you for all Romanian people because uh, uh, big respect from my side for this almost one year what I am uh, here. You have beautiful people, a beautiful country and about football I hope that Superliga from year to year will be better and better and of course for uh, Dynamo that the dreams will become true and that they will see again uh, great Dynamo. Thank you, Zeligo Copici. Prieteni, vă mulțumesc pentru uh, că ați stat alături de noi. Sper să vă fi bucurat episodul de astăzi și ne vedem pe data, vi data viitoare. Dați share, dați subscribe. Rămâneți alături de Sportcast cu Sile, rămâneți alături de canalul de YouTube Orange Sport. Mulțumesc mult, la revedere!